The Celigo Shopify connector updates inventory and product data information from NetSuite to Shopify. In order to do this, it uses the SKU, product ID, and variant ID to identify matching items in Shopify. The first requirement is to have the SKU field in Shopify match the item ID in NetSuite, also called the item name or number field. So in Shopify, it is this SKU field that needs to match this field in NetSuite. Shopify uses the concept of variants. Each item variation in Shopify is called a variant. A variant has a product ID and a variant ID that identifies it as a unique variation in Shopify. To see the variant information, click on the address bar and add a .xml in the URL. This ID on the top is a product ID. If you go into this variant section, you can see the SKU here. And the same product ID is shown here. The number right on top of it is a variant ID. On the NetSuite side, the Shopify connector utilizes a custom record called Celigo Shopify Item ID Map. This can be found under the Custom tab of the item record. You can see the variant ID, product ID, and the Shopify store here. The Shopify store identifies which store this variant is in. This is especially important when you have multiple Shopify store instances. Each store has a unique variant even for the same item. Click on Edit here to see the details for the item ID map. You can see the same variant ID, product ID, and Shopify store here. Additionally, there's a NetSuite item that this item ID map relates to. This is a pick list where you can select items from your inventory records. To add a new item ID map for new items or for troubleshooting purposes when you need to delete an item ID map and recreate it, just click on the new button. You can also view the custom record for the Celigo Shopify item ID map by going to Customizations, List Records and Fields, Record Types. Click on List on the Shopify item ID map. You can see a list of all item ID maps for all the variants. This view is good to use when you want to check for any duplicates or just checking the different variants and product IDs to ensure that there are no inconsistencies. You can also download a CSV file if you need to perform any other maintenance activities. The Shopify connector also has an automated feature for adding the item ID maps. If there's a NetSuite item with a matching SKU in Shopify, and there are no item ID maps existing yet, they can be generated automatically. To do this, go to the Integrator I.O., click on the Settings icon on the Shopify tile, click on Inventory. You can see the data flow with the name Shopify Product ID to NetSuite Item Mass Update. This is a data flow that looks for matching SKUs in both systems and will add or update item ID maps to ensure that items in both systems are linked correctly. You can run this flow manually or set it on a schedule. 